Okay guys, um, this is going to be the last video for today. Uh, got to get some rest and uh, got to play some games. I haven't gotten to play too many games. Um, today, on uh, this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit more about the Corsair H50. Um, like I said, I got it yesterday. Um, installation on it, I will tell you, it's not hard. It gets kind of tricky though. Um, this is pretty much all they give you in there. That's it. Just tells you the stuff. Um, and I mean, pretty basic, pretty simple. More brackets for the 775. Um, it does come with an extra fan. It came with a 120. I had a bigger fan in my case. I had to take it out because it wouldn't fit in there as well. Um, as far as the screw goes, um, if you do get this unit, there are about three different one of those. So you got to be careful what you're using. Um, the first time I installed it, I wasn't even worrying about reading the instructions and uh, facts, and I used the wrong one. So uh, keep that in mind. So you want to definitely have the right screws in there and components. Um, and of course, the good thing about the Corsair H50, they do offer a three year warranty with them. So if anything happens, liquid messes up or anything like that, the liquid is non conductive. So if it falls in your components, you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to show you a little bit of temperatures here um, just to give you, a, you know, an idea. Um, like I said, right now I have the processor at uh, 3.5, and these are the current temps. Roughly idling, I mean, first core is at 43, the other one's at 36, 40, and 37. Um, and then my video cards are at 36 Celsius each. Um, I guess to show you real quick, if I ran, let's say, the Heaven Benchmark, I'm going to run it in window mode real quick. DX11. I'll do it at. 720 window mode. I guess give me an idea on uh, if you ran a game or something. Alright, so there it goes. Running in full tessellation. And my temps are. Not moving up that much. The good thing about it on the Corsair H50 that when you're running games, it only goes up a few Celsius. Um, not a whole lot. I'm stressing it out. Like I said, it's not going to be a whole lot on there. I mean, you're talking three, four Celsius more than what it would be normally if you just had it idling. Uh, I think the only thing that would really kill it would be the um, definitely would be the um, 3D Mark Vantage or 3D Mark 06 because that uses a CPU score on there. So it makes that go, you know, a little bit harder. So what I'm going to do here now is, oh, there's my web channel. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to close all this out, and I'm going to restart it, and I'm going to put it down to stock settings. So you know what you're going to get if you do uh, if you do stock settings with the H50. My guess will probably be idling at 33 Celsius or at 29 Celsius. So let's go into the BIOS real quick. We're going to go here, disable that, leave everything at stock, F10, reset all that. And while that's booting up. Look how many connections you got on the back when you do crossfire. A whole lot of them. I got a lot of stuff right now connected. Alright, it's booting back up. I guess I'll give you a little bit more detail as far as the box goes. And like I said, you could get this at um, boxing for the 5870s. You can get that H50 either at CompUSA, Target Direct, or Newegg. Um, right now it's roughly going for about 79, 89 around there. I think Target Direct has it on sale right now for 79. Good price. Um, I was thinking about getting the one that Efaco 5 had, the Cool It. I looked online, did some reviews, and actually the H50 had better reviews as far as cooling went. So I just went ahead and got the H50. And plus, we sold it at my store, so a little bit better. All right, so now we got everything at stock. 
Let's go here real quick. I don't want fraps. Get fraps out of here. There we go. All right. So now I have it at stock at 2.9. Funny thing is, it only saved one Celsius difference, actually. Not a whole lot. That's the, I guess it's the advantage of having liquid cooled. Hmm. That is a good advantage. Alright, now I'm going to show you something real quick. Um, I'm going to leave the, the processor at stock for right now to run this. There is, under my favorites, there is a video of the new uh, GTX 480. Um, as far as them using it in tessellation mode on this benchmark. And he runs the same exact setup as I do. He ran his processor stock. He ran the 480 stock. He ran everything stock. So I'm going to show you in one part because a lot of people are saying that the new NVIDIA cards are not going to do good and this and that. Um, the video cards, they're saying that's going to be equal to the 5870 only when it comes down to DX9 and 10. All right. When tessellation does kick in, though, it is going to have a better, it's definitely going to have a better uh, frames per second on there. So I just want you to keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to show you one spot real quick where uh, we're on the NVIDIA demo. I think the gentleman was getting like, uh, we have to look at the video again. He's getting quite a bit of FPS. All right, so this spot right here, uh, everything's stock right now. Processor stock, video cards are stock, everything. It's getting about 29 right now, all right? Now let's turn off, uh, oops, not that. Let's turn off uh, tessellation. Look at the FPS. I went up to 160. By turning on tessellation, it drops down to 29. Actually, now at nighttime, it's actually now out only about 48. 48 now. Now let's turn wireframe on. Oh, you can't barely see that. Let me move the camera real quick. Alright, with wireframe on, it's about 23. 